Turning now to breaking news about that tragic shooting out of Southeast DC. A six year old girl has died and five others were injured in a shooting last night. Police say it happened at the corner of Malcolm X and MLK Boulevard a little after 11 PM. DC police and the mayor just gave us some updates. Jess Arnold joins us live from the corner of where it happened last night. Jess, what else do we know today? Yeah, well, Sharla, the police chief confirmed that this was a drive by shooting and they just released some surveillance footage of that car a vehicle of interest. They also shared this flyer here where you can see a picture of that vehicle. I tweeted it out as well for you. Now again, the chief confirmed that the six year old victim in this case is right here, Naya Courtney, again, six years old. Now I've been speaking to her family members all day long, and as you can imagine, they're just devastated. Now police say that shots rang out a little after 11 o'clock at the corner of Malcolm X and MLK Boulevard. Now police were sitting nearby, and the chief said an officer was at the scene in about 30 seconds. They said five adults, three men, and two women also were hit and sustained non-life-threatening injuries. Now they're looking for a silver or gray colored four-door sedan. Again, I tweeted out that video. The chief is calling on the community to work together to solve this ongoing problem. No more. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. The cowards who committed this crime came into this community without any regard for human life, without regard for Naya's life. An open fire in that cannot and will not be tolerated. Residents and neighbors do not deserve to be torn apart by senseless acts of violence. It is time for us to say enough is enough. The corner store owner further down the block so that Nia Courtney's family came to shop there all of the time. Now he actually shared some of that surveillance footage that you saw with us. Now, that footage that you're looking at and you're gonna see again in this piece coming up shows his part of the block a little bit further down, not the actual shooting itself, but it does capture those moments right after those shots were fired. When I heard it was the little girl who I really know from she was a little girl, it was very sad. It was really sad and I was my heart was broken. Ephraim Kasai owns the Melon Market, steps away from where police say the shooting happened. He was distraught watching this surveillance footage his camera captured of the moment shots rang out. You can see police a block away as people start running. Something have to be done. I mean, it's the city have to do something about it. Kasai says he watched the six-year-old girl grow up, saying she even nicknamed him Curly because of his hair. You know, we gave five, we gave hugs, you know, bring her in, give Slurpees and ice creams and whatever the case it could be. Because she's just a very loving. Now, he plans to do whatever he can to help the family get through this. I'm here for them. I will help them whatever it takes. Now, Kasai says he plans to get some more surveillance cameras to help monitor the entire block. Now, we have to make sure we mention that this little girl, Naya Courtney, was killed on the same day, just three years later, as Micaiah Wilson. Just so sad that it happened on that exact same day. And yet tomorrow also marks the anniversary of the shooting death of 11-year-old Karan Brown. Far too many young lives have been lost. Now, if you know anything, please reach out to police. Again, there is a $60,000 reward in this case. Charla. Which is devastating. All right, thanks so much, Jeff.